<clears throat> Hi everyone. Let's just uh, do some setting things back here. In the meantime, take a look at everything that we've got today and let me know what you want to see first. Do, do, do. Hello, hello, welcome. I got mine from, oh, who was it? It was uh, Toys for a Pound. Obviously, they weren't a pound, um, but that's where I got them from. And I think I got 12 at once because that was, it just made sense to buy a full case. Um, but they didn't actually have a full case, so I only got 11 out of the 12. So hopefully we didn't miss out on anyone important. Um, oh, you want to see adorables first? Okay, we'll get straight into it and we'll do adorable. I've tried to mix it up more than I did last time because I know last time I only did adorables and you guys, you know, wanted something a little bit more diverse. So here we go. Our adorable. I couldn't even fit everything in on camera, by the way, because I'm kind of in a cramped little uh, filming space. Yeah, we can do Rick and Morty afterwards. So let's see what adorable we have. Oh, we've got Belle. Look, there's Belle. Very sweet. A little bit like the paint on these aren't brilliant, but uh, it is season one that I'm opening. I mean, look at that. It's like they accidentally did the brown and tried to wipe it off afterwards. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's still nice. <clears throat> A nice mould for this one. So there's Belle. We have nearly finished the Beauty and the Beast collection uh, of adorables, but we did not need Belle. We already had Belle. Uh, so let's go on to Rick and Morty, which is back here. Let's move my murmur corner out of the way. Go for Rick and Morty. How is everyone doing today? Get that out there. Let's hope it doesn't fall down. Do a little bit of rearranging. There we go. Okay, Rick and Morty. Um, so, <laughs> thank you so much. That's very kind of you to say. Um, I'm just amazed that I have so many followers, that so many of you enjoy what I enjoy. Um, so thank you so much, everyone. Um, so for who we have already, we already have uh, this guy, we already have the kind of protest uh, Rick. We have Morty in his spacesuit. We have Teddy Rick and we have, is this Mr. Kirk, Kirkleys or Kirkland's or something? We have him already. Um, so we just need some new ones today, please. Let me take the wrapping off this. Thank you so much for the likes. I do, well, I watched the first season of Rick and Morty. I think I watched some of the second season, but I am behind on it and I need to catch up because I really enjoyed it. It's just one of those things on my list to keep track of and keep watching. Yes, we do have a Toki Doki as well. We have the Murmur Corno Series 2, which I have a few more of those backstage as well. So if you want to see more of those, I can do more of those. Um, so I've got the plastic off. That's what you could hear in the background. And let's open up. The glue job on these are so bad. Look at that. That's fine. We'll just get into it. I, I did bring my handy dandy box opener, but I forgot it. It's somewhere amongst the mess. Okay, we've got it out. You can kind of see through these bags. And I think we have another Morty. And we've, this would be our third one so far. So that makes me sad. Yes, it's another Morty. Oh, gee, Rick. 
I love the details. Yes, it's another Morty. Oh, gee, Rip. I love the details on these, though. I mean, look at that little jetpack. That's so cool. Just the details on all the little painting bits they've done. Funko did a great job on these. Uh, I think I may have another box of these hidden away somewhere. So, well, another box, another singular box. So we might do one of those in a bit, um, if you stick around. So there is Morty. Let's put him off to the side with Belle. Let's move our box out the way. So shall we do the Unicorno next then? Tokidoki. I'm sorry, you're going to hear me opening the box off stream because I'm obsessed and I need to uh, I need to flatten the box while I've got it in my hands. Um, but Tokidoki next, is that what we're doing? Let's do that next. Yep, we'll do Birds of Prey after that. So here is the Series 2. There goes my uh, that there. Series 2 Murmur Corno. I have about 10 more boxes of these um, because I just bought like a whole big box full of them because I just had to get them. Um, and I do love these. I've only opened up one so far and I think, who did we, I think we got Leela when I opened them up. I think that was the one we got. So, but I really want Shark Bite and that is the chaser. So I know we're probably not going to get it, but I really want it. Um, so let's get this open. They are so nice, Caroline. <clears throat> and the figures themselves are just beautiful. As we will see when we get into this one. I mean, look at the art on the box alone. That is just gorgeous. Gorgeous art. Packaging is bright blue. So the, the extra Rick and Morty I have um, is just off to the side. So they're not in the same place, but they are really close to me. Um, and let's just go through again. So that just tells you a bit about it. So one special night, a group of unicorners were flying in the direction of falling stars. Falling stars were disappearing into a sparkly sea, which transformed them into starfish while changing snowflakes into jellyfish. They rode the tail of a shooting star into the magical sea, turning them into enchanting creatures of half unicorno and half fish. One day, while following migrating dolphins, they discovered the surface of our world. Thus began the legend of the Myrmicornos, rumoured to only resurface during a lunar eclipse. That's a nice little uh, story for those there. So let's see who we've got. No way. Did we just get the chaser? Like, is that something we just did? On, on live, the chasers that are really hard to get, we just got one. And it's the second box I've opened of these. That's insane. Yes, everyone put woohoos in chat. That's incredible. This is the one I wanted as well. That's amazing. Okay. Let's take a look at his little details. I love that he's got the little grumpy shark. The little scar on his face. He looks so mad. Oh, look, he's got the shark tooth necklace as well. A little cut in his ear. He's clearly been in a fight. That is beautiful. I can't believe it. We just pulled the chase. This is the only the second box I've opened. And it's the chase figure. Like how amazing is that? This is shark bite. Um, so yes. 
are the Rick and Morty ones worth money? I mean, when I got them, they weren't £5 each, which is what they usually sell for. Um, I would say, I don't know. I guess it's if you're an avid collector of Rick and Morty stuff, then yes, they are definitely worth the money because they have so many cute little details and stuff to them. But if you're not really a collector of that kind of stuff, then probably not because you get so many duplicates and yeah, it's it's difficult to say. Um, I would say it's up to you really if you think you should collect them. Um, I mean, like I say, I've got three Mortys now with the with the like space outfit one. Oh, thank you so much for the confetti. <laughs> that like, surprised me. Um, so we're going to open Birds of Prey next. We do still have... There are some underneath which you can't really see. So we've got Wonder Woman 84, we've got Toy Story 4, and we've got Zombies, Marvel Zombies. And there goes half of my display. I'm sorry, that probably looked like it was attacking you. Let's just put some new ones oh, up there. My whole camera fell. You saw my little Halloween decorations for a moment. You really want the Teddy Rick? I think I'm selling a duplicate Teddy Rick on my eBay. Um, so if you really, really want one, you can visit my eBay. I'm selling it. I think I've got it down for a starting price of 99p. Um, because I'm really not that bothered for it. But the delivery price is 345 because that's how much it's going to cost to send it within the UK. I don't know where you are, but that's within the UK. Um, oh, we have some Friday or Five Nights at Freddy's cards too. So my eBay is just called Galaxy Silver. So if you wanted to go over and have a look, you're more than welcome to. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Take, say, take a look. Um, I try and keep delivery as, as, you know, small as I can. So here we go. Birds of prey. Let me take off the wrapping. And I'll just give you a look at the Teddy Rick if you wanted to see it more. Just because I've got them off to the side of me. So this is what the Teddy Rick looks like. Um, he's kind of small compared to normal Funko figures. Um, I mean... This is him next to Morty. So they're probably about the same size. Um, I'll put him back because I had two of these. So I've kept one of them. Um, he was going to go back on my shelf. And then the other one is like ready for sale. Um, so let's get into this Birds of Prey box. Which I'm just doing off screen to get the wrapper off. And then we'll open the box on screen. I'm so sorry you guys had to see like my whole display fall down. That is not ideal. Okay, here we go. Birds of Prey. So I actually have quite a lot of these already in the series. Um, I have that one, Black Canary, Huntress, I don't have uh, that one yet, I have that one, that one and that one, I don't have the 72, because obviously that's like the 72, I have the one in 36 of the Beaver, and I have the ch um, the exclusive versions of these two, but I don't have the regular versions of these two. So the exclusive version of the hyena is flocked and the exclusive of this one, he is in a gold and black suit. So I still need those two and I need that one too. So let's hope we can get some new ones. Yeah, Deadpool stuff is really hard to find where I'm at. Like... I search all my stores and stuff, but I just can't find any Deadpool stuff, which is really sad because Deadpool is my favourite. Um, so, oh, this feels... I don't even know what it feels like. I wonder who that could be. I'm just going to look at the box again and, like, have a little nosy. Mm, it's probably Huntress, now that I think about it. Let's 
see if we can open it up. Is it? It's very dusty. Oh my god, look at that dust. And it is, it's Huntress. So I already have Huntress, um, so she'll be going on my eBay as well. Um, but there we go. She is so dusty. Look at all that dust on her. You shouldn't be able to collect dust when you're in a bag, lady. That's not how that works. So I do have some more of these as well, so we can do more if we want to. So I'll just pop her over to the side. Okay, so we've done a few Funkos now. So let's move on to something else. Why don't we do... Let's do a couple of Clash of Heroes. Oh, I could say a couple. We've only got the one. Let's do one of these. Because um, it's big, it's in the way. Um, and let's get rid of it. There go. I've opened up one of these before um, and they're kind of cool. I think this is the same one actually because I got one of these last time. Unless this comes with every pack. Um, and let's see. That will tell us who we've got so we're not going to turn that over. Oh it is a new one. Oh wow look at him. Looks cool. And we must have a stack in here too. So let's. Ooh, look at that. Hi, Toy Surprise. How are you? Let's just get that into his hands. It doesn't clip in. Maybe you have to. No, you can't slide it in because the thing's in the way. It must clip into his hands somehow. No, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. We um, we opened up a Tokidoki Mem Corner of the series two, and we got the chase, which is amazing because it's the one I wanted. It's the shark bite. So there is the Clash of Titans. We'll put him off to the side as well. I'll show them all at the end. Um, but I'm just putting him off to the side so that he doesn't get in the way of everything else and we'll look at his card in a second too let me just get rid of some of this rubbish it's over here oh yeah guys if you double tap the screen um you actually send me likes i think that boosts me up like the live page um or whatever so we'll get more views um so if you can just double tap um the the lights that would be great thank you um, okay, so you want to see the Cubits. So these are Firefly, which amazing series, amazing film. I wish they did more, but I'm kind of glad they didn't too, because they might have ruined it. Um, now, with series two, we're kind of cursed. So we'll do series one first, and then we'll do the series two. Um, so this is who you can get. At the moment, we have Shepherd Book. Um, who is this guy down here and I'm completely blanking on her name but we have this lady here too um, Zoe that's it Zoe we have Zoe um, now I really want to get um, Wash who is this guy up here um, or maybe Jane I enjoyed Jane in the series he was cool you would like the blonde guy yeah he's called Wash and in the series I think the first thing we kind of see him do is like he's flying the ship, but he's playing with dinosaurs as well, which just made me love him. So let's see who we get. So yeah, even though we've opened about six or seven of these boxes, we've only gotten these two figures out of it. So I'm hoping that we can get someone new. Reveal. Oh, it's Shepherd again. We've got so many of this guy. Disappointed. Disappointed. He's still cool, but disappointed. Um, so there is Shepherd. He is the 
almost a preacher guy on the series, but uh, they kind of hinted that maybe that wasn't his job and that he was like a secret agent kind of thing. So I really wish I'd seen where that goes more. Um, so we'll just put him off to the side and we'll open up the series two. Now, series two, we are cursed. We are actually cursed with the series two. There is no two ways about it because the only one we've got from series two is Kaylee in her pretty pink dress. That's the only one we've gotten. We haven't seen any other ones and we've opened probably about eight of these now. So I'm really, really, really hoping we get anyone other than Kaylee. Um, as much as I love her, I don't need eight of her. I need someone new, please, please, please be someone. It's Kaylee. I can tell already. Are you ready? It's Kaylee. No. We have so many of you. I don't know what the distribution was like for these, but I have had awful luck. Awful. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to sell these on eBay and even these aren't selling on eBay um, because I have so many of her. She's going back in the box. She's not even worth keeping out of the box. Um, she's just going back in and that's just going off to the side for me to cry about later. Okay, so we have lots more to do. Um, what should we do next? We have some tiny tins. We have some more Funkos. We have some cards. Do we do some cards? Big Hero 6. Okay, we'll do Big Hero 6 next. So I've nearly finished this series. Um, I think the only one I actually need is GoGo. -Go. That is the only one we're waiting for. There is like a guy under this, but he's, he's like a little burger guy and I have him already. Um, so yeah, I only need GoGo. -Go. Can we do it, guys? We pulled the chase of the one I wanted from Toki Doki. Can we get GoGo -Go from Big Hero 6? Let's see. Fingers crossed, guys. Can we do it? Come on, go, go. Who is... Is that go, go? Guys, we did it. We finished the Big Hero 6 collection. So that is amazing. Let's just put her on her little stand. Um, oh my god, that's that's amazing. We got a new one every single time we opened one of these. Because we never got any duplicates. I can't even get her on her stand. She's got like a little hole there, but she's not going in. There we go, kind of. Nope, nope that didn't work. I'll, I'll work on that later. But oh my god, we got everyone. I'll have to do a video just showing them all off um, because the Baymax in this series looks amazing. But yes, there's Gogo. -Go. She was definitely one of my favourite characters out of the Big Hero 6 um, film. Although I never watched the series. I didn't even realise they did a series until I saw these, um, these figures. Uh, so that's really cool. I'll have to watch that at some point. That's just me emptying the box again because I'm obsessive. Um, so I'm going to hold off on the Toy Story because I don't want us to do all of the all of the Funko before like we've even done anything else. Um, so what I'm going to do next is we're going to do some Warhammer Champions. Um, so I've got a few of these packs. It's not really something I'm into, but the art on the cards is like kind of cool so I'm not too like mad about the collection um, but these are kind of cool so we'll open these up we'll have a look at them and then maybe we'll do the Toy Story afterwards 
so there isn't like a trick to these like Pokemon cards as far as I know. You just kind of get the special one at the back of the deck. Uh, so we have Flock of Doom. That looks cool. Dreadblade Harrow. This is like great for Halloween. Like these kind of cards. Fester and Rot. Loathsome Plague Bearer. I don't like the art on that one. Soul Pike. Regrowth. That looks kind of cool. Like that would be a nice um, costume for Halloween. <laughs> Nurgle's Rot. What's a Nurgle? That sounds funny. Stream of Corruption. The Van Hell's Dance Macabre. Uh, macabre? Macabre. Blah, 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 blah. Skeletons and a witch. Perscoil Blight Lord. Ugh, that's not a nice name. Gloom Spite Haven. That is what um, my house will be called. Glare Face Scaremonger. <laughs> that's a funny name. And then our special one is Palace of the Plague Lord. Lord, and you can kind of see it's like shiny. That's cool. So we will put those off to the side. And let's go for Toy Story 4, which is up here. Can't reach it so far away. Um, so let's take the plastic off. Do, do, do. Plastic is off. That was a nice easy one. Now this is the first one I've ever opened. So I don't mind who we get. But my favourite out of all of the series is Rex. I've always been a dinosaur lover. So... Fingers crossed, we have pulled one chase today. Maybe we can pull another. Fingers crossed we get Rex. Let's see. Who do you want to see from the series? Forky. Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, I don't know. For me, I just really hate when they do really tiny ones because it's like... You can kind of tell in the box. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who do we have? I'm not going to feel it. Uh, we are just going to go straight into opening it, just to see. Can't even. Ugh. Who do we have? Oh, it's Woody. It's Woody. Oh my god, look, they've included the little pull string. I mean, obviously you can't pull it like it's plastic, but that is so cool. I love that so much. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised with that one. Now, I will get two of those, or it's likely that I'll get two of those, um, because it's one out of six. <clears throat> but you never know, we could be really lucky and we could only get one of each. So, Woody! That's cool. He'll go off to the side and we'll share him again later. So I know someone sent me a message and asked for me to do the Sylvanian families. So we're going to do one of those. Uh, now, should we do the baby party, the campfire series, or should we do the, I think it's called like the dress up series, it's kind of like the Halloween version. Um... Well, for those of you that watched my video yesterday, I actually pulled the secret out of this series. Um, we got the little guy and the jack-in-the-box, which was really pretty. So we're going to do this one and I hope we get someone new. Um, so I'm just going to open it off screen. I'm just going to put a little snip. And let's get it open. Yes, so the Big Hero 6 series, I didn't get any duplicates at all. 
Um, so far, my Power Ranger Mini Funkos. I haven't had any duplicates at all. Um, oh, this one is a duplicate, unfortunately. All of that talking um, just meant that that's a duplicate. So we're not going to put that one out the box. Um, because I have that one already. Even if it is a cute one. That one is this little guy and he comes with like a little ghost and a jack-in-the-box. I've already got him. So he's staying in the package. Uh, let's put him to the side. Let's do Slitherio next. So these are just the bracelets. Um, which they're kind of cute. They don't fit on my wrists because I think they're made for kids, but they're still nice. We got a nice rainbow one. That's so cute. I like the little faces on these. Look at his little smiling face. He's so happy to be here. That's so cute. He can go off to the side. We'll get rid of the packaging. Uh, toy surprise. Is there anything you want to see me open? Uh, we have some X-Men Dice Masters. We have some Five Nights at Freddy cards. We have some more Sylvanian families or Calico Critters, I think is like the same thing. They just have a different name. We have Incredibles 2. We have some of the uh, Pocket Pails. Um, or we have a puzzle eraser. Like, is there anything you want to see? Or I'll just I'll just go have and I'll just pick one. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. And I will just flatten these boxes that I've opened because it annoys me that they're sitting around not flattened. Nice ASMR for you. Okay. Um, you haven't picked one, so I'm going to pick one for you. We are going to go with this one, which is the Star Wars Tiny Tin Pocket Pails. Um, doo -doo -doo. You can't see the checklist because they're all hidden by this sticker, which is annoying. Um, but let's open it up and let's see what we get. Can I do a Marvel Zombies and a Rick and Morty again? Um, I'm probably... I don't know. I'm kind of pushed for time because I've just heard my dinner arrive. It's downstairs. Um, and we've still got all of these to do. But I'll see. If I can. I mean, we do have a the Marvel Zombies down there, which we can do. Um, I don't know if I can push another Rick and Morty in as well. Just because we're pushed for time. Um, but here is the Star Wars. Um, I don't know if I have this one. I don't think I've opened this one yet, so that's cool. Um, I've only opened two, I think, of these so far. So let's get it out. Now these are miniature lunch boxes. Um, so that we've got Darth Vader and one of the stormtroopers behind him. Luke and Darth fighting on the front. You can kind of hear the stuff inside. And what I like is that each like little side of it has a different scene as well. So it's not just the front and the back, it's all the sides. And then if we just pop that open, they all have the same message inside, which is may the force be with you. And then they also come with this little tiny eraser. So this one has Darth Vader on it, which is really cute. Now, I don't have any, but I've seen someone put um, the little uh, mini brands in here. So you can fit the mini brands inside as well. So you can make yourself a tiny little lunchbox. So there is that one. Let's do... What should we do next? Let's do the X-Men next. And then we'll go on to do the Marvel Zombies. So our group is coming down a little bit. Um, don't forget we have this one too, which is the Fluffy Airlines, which I got from my um, blind box. So let's do the Dice Masters. I love the cards in these. They are so nice. Uh, so let's open this up. 
So each pack comes with two dice and the dice match your character cards. So let's just pull these open and let's see who we've got. So we've got Mimic, um, who is Cyclops's brother. Um, and his dice, I guess, would be uh, that one because it matches that one up there. Yeah, we'll do Fluffy Airline next, absolutely. Um, so that is that one. And then Thunderbird, Tribal Fury. Ooh, I don't think I've read anything with Thunderbird in it. Um, but his would be the little fists and the bird dice there. So I love those cards. I love that they're numbered as well. So you can see how many of the collection you've got. Um, I don't think I'm, I may be like two thirds of the way through this collection. Um, but I do love the dice as well. So those are that. One day, can we see all of your shelters or figures? Um, so a lot of the figures that I don't like to keep, like the um, the Paw Patrol or the My Little Pony or anything like that, I actually donate them um, to my local nursery. Um, but yeah, I mean, the stuff I've kept, I could probably show off at some point. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't see why not. That'd be fun. Okay, so let's do the fluffy airline. Oh no, I said we were going to do the Marvel Zombies first and then we'll do the fluffy airlines. So let's do this one first. Which was under there. So let's put the fuggler back. So I'm just going to take off uh, the plastic. Do, do, do. I always do this off stream because... Like, if you do it on stream, sometimes people will report you, and I just don't want any of that. Like, that would freak me out. Um, so I always do that off stream. Um, so let's do the Marvel Zombies. So we've had pretty good luck with this one. Um, we got a 1 out of 72, which isn't even on the box, um, which was a surprise. So we got the black and white uh, Wolverine. So he's not even meant to be in this series because it's meant to be the exclusive glow in the dark. Um, but we pulled him and he's 1 out of 72, which was amazing. Um, we have the Coloured Hulk. We have Black and White Venom. We've had Deadpool. Um, and I think I've got a spare Deadpool on my eBay. If not, he will be going on my eBay because I've got two of him. We pulled the exclusive um, Daredevil. And who else? I'm just looking at myself to see who else we have. And we have Gambit. And that's 36. So we've done really well out of this set. Um, so let's see who we get today. Who would you guys want to see the most? I think I probably want to see the coloured gambit the most. Now that I've gotten everyone else that I kind of want. So I really wanted obviously the black and white gambit and the venom. Because he's like one of my favourite next to Deadpool. Um, so who do you want to see? Who do we have in here? Oh, is it a black and white one? It is. Oh, it's Magneto. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think he was a one out of six on the package. Um, I think he is one of the exclusives to this kind of series. So yeah, he's one of the exclusives. He is one out of six. But he's kind of cool. I can deal with that. I think I'd prefer him in the colour though, because he looks better in the colour. But yeah, that's cool. I like that. So he's going to go with the rest of my collection. Um, so yeah, I'm doing pretty well with that one. I love all the, like, the holes in his cape. I think that's a really nice touch. All the dents in his helmet. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. 
Okay, so the next one we were going to do was the fluffy airlines. So let's do that one next. Um, and then maybe we'll do another... Oh, we might do some cards after this one. So let's do fluffy airlines. So I got this from the Big Box Empire. They did a, a subscription kind of thing, but it's not a subscription. You can buy it or not buy it every month. Um, and this was in September's box. Um, and I will be posting a video shortly after this about another one I opened from the September box. So let's see who we get. I think I want to see Chicky. I think that looks really cute. Or the grey rabbit. Uh, so let's see who we get. I'm glad they make you um, happy, uh, these little lives that I do. And the videos too. Um, I like doing them just because I like opening the stuff and seeing what we get and what we don't get. Um, yeah, it just makes me happy. And I'm glad that you're happy too. Because that makes it worth it, you know? Uh, this box is so tough to get into. I wish I had my handy dandy thing. Um, but I lost it, so there we go. Yeah, the grey rabbit does look really cute. Okay, so we've got a little stand. Does the stand tell us anything? No, but it's a cloud, so maybe it's Miss Rainbow. We'll see. I did one of these the other day. Like, let's not look at the card. And um, it had, like, one of the weights in to stop you from feeling, like, how heavy it was. And I pulled it out, and the weight just went flying, and it scared me. They remind me from when I was way more younger. I used to watch something called Play-Doh's Pies. Oh, I don't think I ever watched that. So let's get right into this one. Let's see who we've got. Do, do, do. Oh, someone with feet. Oh, look. It's a little guide cloud. That is so cute. You should always check your bags um, when you're doing these to make sure you don't miss any kind of accessories. Um, so this is the Mr. White Cloud. Look how cute. And this is so heavy as well. Like this is a um, fairly heavy little figure. And he's got a little backpack. That's cute. It's orange top. And then obviously he's got his cloud stand. And it says there, Mr. White Cloud. And he'll just go on that stand and he'll be part of my collection. If I don't throw him everywhere, he will be part of my collection. So we'll do some Five Nights at Freddy cards next. Um, and then we'll do maybe a Sylvanian Families. So I'll just put this guy off to the side somewhere where I'm not going to knock him down. So let's do our FNAF cards. I get requested to do these so often and I've nearly finished the set. So I'm sorry guys, but since I've finished the set, I'm going to stop doing them. There's no point doing them if you've already finished the set. Um, but I will do a YouTube video. Can we do a Marvel one after that? Yeah, we'll do the um, the Puzzle Pal or the Pocket Pail. You pick which one. Do you want the Puzzle Pal or the Pocket Pail after all of that? So here we go. Here's our FNAF cards. Now, someone commented on my video and was like, oh, these are just screenshots of the, the game. But it's not. Look, it's got the art cards too, um, which I just think are so neat that you see all of the art as well. So there's that one. So this one obviously is a screenshot from the game. So here's that one. So shiny. And again, all of these are numbered. So you can see. So it says I've lost connection. Hopefully you guys can still see and hear me. It's back to good connection now. Hopefully that will. Please be good. I've just moved my phone just a tiny bit to see if maybe I have a phone again. Try switching between. That's cool. We'll use up all my data and that's fine. Um, anyway, baby camping series. Um, 
I haven't opened any of these before, so whoever we get is going to be new. So there we go. Oh, look at that little bunny. And it's got a little, like, thingy for its head. Hopefully that should have stabilised the connection, guys. I'm so sorry about that. You should have said something sooner. Okay, so it's not for its head, it's for its neck. That's cute. I wish these ones came with names. You can look at the names online. I love that. And it's got a little accessory that goes with it too. So let's open up this little accessory. We'll put that on a little bunny. Oh, look. That is so sweet. I love that so much. Cool. Let's put that one off to the side. That's going to be part of our new collection. And now we're going to do the Marvel erasers. Um, so I have a few that I wanted from this collection. Um, I wanted to get uh, Black Panther. Because <clears throat> I thought that was really cool. Um, but I haven't gotten him yet. So fingers crossed we can do it now. We've had good luck so far today. Oh, the cows. Oh, we've got Groot. Okay, I'm not mad because I haven't had Groot yet. Um, so he is looking really cute. Let's save him from the plastic. Come out, Groot. Save you. There's his little body. And his head just pops on. How adorable is Groot. I love that he's got like a little flat bit on his head. You could put anything on there. Adorable. So we'll put Groot off to the side. We'll just move these out of the way. Um, so we don't have too much left now. Uh, which is good because I'm getting hungry. Um, so we have the spooky version of the magical baby series, my bad, of the Sylvanian families, which again, I haven't opened any of, and I was saving some of these for Halloween, but I thought we'd uh, have a little sneak peek. We have Incredibles 2. We have a Marvel tiny tin. We have Wonder Woman 84. And we have a Fuggler. So what do you guys want to do next? Let me know in the comments while I have a little sip of my drink. Because doing all that talking has made me thirsty. Okay, so we are going to do the Incredible 2 next. Um, which is this one here. We have Mr. Incredible and we have Screen Slaver and the Raccoon. So I want to see Jack Jack. That's the one I want to see. I don't mind which one, just one of those Jack Jacks. So let's see what we got. I can't even open it. These are like so difficult to open. I have to wash my hands so many times at the end of the day just to get like all of the box stuff off. Oh no, we've got Mr. Incredible. So he's a duplicate, um, but that's fine. Um, so let's hope we get someone new next time. Because I have a couple of these. I think they're in my Lucky Dip box. So for anyone new joining who kind of doesn't see my stuff, I do have a Lucky Dip box. So if you comment on one of my videos, please may I have a Lucky Dip. I'll do you a video. I am a bit behind. I'm about three weeks behind on videos, um, but you will get one. Um, so be, please be patient. Um, but yes, so that's what I do. So next we're going to do the Fuggler and then we'll do Wonder Woman 84 and then we'll do Marvel and then we'll end with Sylvanian families. Um, so there is Fuggler. And so we have the purple guy, the orange guy, um, and the green guy. So let's hope we can get someone new. These kind of scare me, I'm not going to lie. 
the the teeth I, I don't like the teeth um, but they're still kind of cute otherwise uh, so we're going to open another one of these and yeah guys if you can just double tap on the screen that just sends me a bunch of likes to let me know you like the video um, that you're enjoying the live you can do it as many times as you like um, yeah that just helps me know what you guys like what you don't like so here is the fuggler let's get into it so these are all blind bags as a teddy <laughs> yeah fugglers are so it's just the teeth i just can't handle it they just look too realistic i think if it wasn't for that if they had their mouths closed i'd be fine with it Oh, we have someone new. Who do we have? Okay, so I love that it's a fox because foxes are one of my favourite animals. But I hate its teeth. It's so scary. It just looks like it could chomp you. Oh. Oh, no, I don't like that. Oh. <laughs> no, it's scary. <laughs> but if you look at it from the back, it's so cute. It's got a little button. Um, you can see kind of the stitch marks. That's really cute. The tail's cute. But yeah, from the front, ah, scary. Oh, I'm glad I saved that for one of the last so I don't have to look at that too long. Even though I have the collection out. Um, they just don't scare me as much when they're like in the collection, surrounded by other toys. But when it's on its own, it's just like, oh, I'm not too happy about this. Okay, so I can't, I think we're going to do this one next. So let's do Wonder Woman. Um, so we've not got too many left, guys. But thank you for sticking with me throughout this. It's been great. Um, so we're just opening up the Wonder Woman off screen. Uh, just so I can get the plastic off. So plastic is off. Let's see, we have opened uh, Steve with his little fanny pack and Wonder Woman, this one, where she's just like wearing the gauntlets. Um, I kind of want to see, I want to see her in one of the golds. I don't mind which one, obviously the 72 would be nice, but I don't mind which one. I want to see her in like her gold outfit. See, now that one was really nice and easy to open. I like ones like that. Let's see. Who have we got? Oh, she's not in the gold, but I think... Oh no, why did they print on her face? That was a rubbish decision, Funko. You shouldn't print on a doll's face. It just looks like she's got tattoos. Um, bad decision, but we got a good one. So I think this is one out of, yeah, 36. So that's really good. Um, so she's digging up fossils. Um, but yeah, just bad, bad placement there, Funko. You could have done it like on the back of her legs or anything. Um, but yeah, that's a really cool figure. I like that one. I always wanted to be, um, I don't know if you guys watched it, um, but you know, the mummy. Um, the classic, well not the classic film, but you know, the one with um, Brendan Fraser. Always made me want to be a librarian um, when I grew up. Never happened, but I loved the archaeology kind of thing. Oh, I'm the same. I watch people open up stuff all the time. It's just like, what my for you pages. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do the tiny tins. And then we're going to do the Sylvanian families. And then that's us. We are done for the evening. So let's have a look. I might squeeze in one last Rick and Morty for you. Um, oh, well, we've got Black Widow. I don't have this one yet. So that's a really cool one to get. Um, so let's open this. Yeah, we'll do another live. I tend to do these ones every two weeks because it gives me enough time to like build up boxes of stuff to open. Um, but yeah, we'll probably do another one, not next week, but the week after. 
We might do one next week because I'm not working next week. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll have another one soon. So there is Black Widow. Um, oh, I lied. I do have this one already. It's because I opened it up from this side. But I have, I have this one. Um, doo -doo -doo. And then this one says, don't play with matches. If you see a fire, go get help from a grown up right away. Um, with a picture of him. So there's Black Widow. Doo -doo -doo. Very cute. So we've got our Sylvanian families and then we'll finish with a extra bonus surprise Rick and Morty. So let me just open up this one off screen. Do, 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 do. You don't want to see the mess that is my desk right now from opening one of these. Okay, so I really, really want um, either one of the cats or this little buddy with the, the book. I think that's really cool. Uh, so let's see who we've got. Okay, so we've got the little dog with the magic lamp. That's cute too. I like that. Um, so let's just have a look at the checklist. Wow. I see you can get like these big sets and as much as I would love to do it, I just cannot afford to get the big sets. <laughs> They're huge. So that's the little dog we got. Oh, I like his little um, pumpkin bat, his little bat cauldron. That's cute. So there's everyone there. So here we've got a little puppy. Let's just open it up and have a look. He's cute. Focus. Thank you. He's very cute. And then he has a little magic lamp, too. Let's get that out. Ooh. How sweet is that? That is so cute. Now, I order all of these off Amazon because... Um, at the moment, the Baby Party series is an offer, so you can get it for two ninety nine. And usually in shops, they sell for four pound. Um, so just to give you a little heads up there, if you wanted one of those. Um, so let me just put a few of these on screen so that you can look at these while I go get the uh, Rick and Morty box. Um, so there's a few of the things we've opened today. It's not everything. Um, there are no Deadpool's on Amazon. No, I've checked. I religiously check for Deadpool because I love him so much. So I'll be back in a second just while I go get a Rick and Morty. So uh, please don't leave. Um, we have one more to go. Okay, I'm back. So, last one to do, Rick and Morty. It's a bonus figure. Let's see who we get. We want someone new. Let's try. Let's try our hardest. Let's just open this up off camera. Okay, let's see who we get. It feels kind of light. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, it does feel kind of like I'm not, um, I'm not too pleased. I think it's another Morty, in which case we've got about four of him, which is not good odds. Oh no, another Morty. So we, we do now, we have four of him. Our bonus box was not a good box, guys. It was a fail. Um, I know I only have one box left of Rick and Morty now as well. I don't have any of the ones and the website I brought them from don't have them anymore. 
Um, so there will only be one more Rick and Morty. Sad times, sad times. I do have a couple pre-recorded though, so you might see three or four come up. Um, but there is Morty in his little outfit. Um, so that's going to be it from me today, guys. Thank you everyone who joined. Um, thank you for liking it. Thank you for any follows that I might have missed. Um, I really do love doing these and I love that you guys love it too. Um, that makes me happy. So I'll see you guys next time and thanks very much. Yes, have a good rest.